hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome or welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are all doing well today's video I'm gonna share with you my Longchamp collection so if you want to see what that's all about you guys just keep on watching okay you guys so before we get into my Longchamp collection you know the drill let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you might be interested so starting with my face today you guys for my foundation I use my Dior forever foundation and this foundation you guys I've talked about this before it is one that I will always repurchase you know how you have some of those foundations that you can use and it's just like okay when I'm done with that that's it that's not the case for this Dior forever foundation is one of the ones that I will keep repurchasing because I love it you guys I love the way it feels on my face it gives you a medium coverage to full coverage if you needed that you can build it up I use about one or two pumps at the most and this just gives me a nice beautiful even coverage is not drying it doesn't feel tight on your face it just feels like there's nothing there so I love that in a foundation so I definitely will always keep repurchasing this one from Dior I'm in the shade 4N if you're my skin tone for reference and then next you guys with my eyes I went in with this eyeshadow from Sicily it's in number 25 and it's metallic khaki which that is a fitting name for this color because that's exactly what it is and it looks like this right here and it's just one of their single eyeshadows I love to buy these from Sicily you guys because they are so nice and I can just easily just do a one and done quick little look with these eyeshadows I love them so that is what that metallic khaki looks like and I just have this swept all over my entire lid I did go in with a second color from Sicily as well in my inner tear duct and this one is in number 41 glow gold and here's what that one looks like and for me I typically don't use the little brush applicators um, I'm using my own brushes but today I did use it because I was only putting it in my inner corner so with this shadow this was perfect this little tip just to go right in my inner corner so yes this is the shade I have in my inner tear duct so all I used were these two shades from Sicily to do my eye look today. And hopefully you guys can see that. And then next as my mascara today, nothing unusual. Still using that Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara that I've talked about so many times here. I love it you guys. What could I say? If you need volume and you need length to your lashes, get you one of these. You'll love it. And then next, as a blush on my face today, I pulled out an old favorite from Patrick Ta. And it's his face palette I got. And it has like three blushes and cream products in there. However, I don't think this is available anymore because I think it was something that I bought during the holiday season from one of Sephora's holiday sales and yeah you can get these I think individually but I don't think you can get this actual face set anymore so let me just show you the one I use today is called she's vibrant and is this gorgeous coral shade here and if you're not familiar with Patrick Ta's blushes, he has 
like his cream product of the blush on the top and the bottom part is the powder part and I used both of those today. This is the one I used here in the middle called She's Vibrant. And it definitely was because, y'all, I had to tone it down after putting it on because I was like, okay, this is giving me clown. But, yeah, just a light touch of his blushes. They are so pigmented. Y'all, you don't need that much. They are so good. So, if you haven't tried Patrick Taw's blushes, give it a try, y'all. Um, I absolutely love them. So... I'll flip that down so you can see like the cream part of it, how it looks. But yeah, that's what I use today. I actually love Patrick Ta's makeup overall, but these blushes y'all are a hit. So try them out. So that's what I have right here on my cheeks. And then as for my highlights, Another one I picked up from one of Sephora sales was the Glow Seeker Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in the shade Sun Idol. It looks like this right here. And there's that beautiful highlighter right there. You have that beautiful champagne gold highlighter, which is one of my favorites to use. That is what I have highlight my face for the lips. I did a three piece combo here. You know, I always go in with my Morphe lip liner in sweet tea. That doesn't change too much, you guys. So there's that. So that's lining my lips today. And then for my lipstick, I went in with another favorite from Sicily. It's number 10 in sheer nude. Looks like this. And there's the lipstick right there. Again, it's one of those ones, if you can see, it's like a glossy lipstick. So if you could put a gloss and a lipstick together, that's exactly what this is, you guys. That's the formula on this. And I love buying lipsticks like that. When it comes to makeup, I certainly do have a type. And when it comes to lipsticks, if I'm wearing a lipstick, it has to have a glossy finish to it or else I'm just going to put a gloss on top of it. This already had it, but y'all, I still went in with some shimmer on my lips. So, another favorite from Patrick Ta, I used my lipstick in She's an Influencer. And there's that color right there, y'all. Isn't it gorgeous? I have all of these, y'all. Because <laughs> I'm so hooked on these lip glosses. I love even just wearing them alone by their self. They give you a nice gloss with a little touch of glitter in it. It's not gritty. You don't feel it. None of that. It's perfect, y'all. So... I don't know if you've tried these. I've had these for a while. I don't know if you'll be able to see that right there, but it's, she's an influencer. Yeah, you guys, I love these by Patrick Ta. Hopefully you can see that. And then next, as for my fragrance today, a oldie but goodie from Tom Ford. This is one, y'all, that you could just wear anywhere and i mean anywhere it will not be offensive to anybody it could be a daily fragrance because it's just so soft so fresh and so pretty and it is none other than my tom ford soleil neige you guys this y'all is one that i could just spray on all the time y'all it is so so good this, again, is another one that I will definitely repurchase again because it is just that easy, you guys. I mean, again, when I say you can wear it to anything every day, this is it, y'all. 
it is so nice light and pretty definitely love it i even have the oil you guys which as you can see it's almost gone because this is one that i love to wear after i get out of the shower i put this oil on and it's a spray so i'll just spray the oil on and rub it on my body and my husband just loves it he's like you smell so so good so it's just one of those just light light fresh pretty fragrances you can't go wrong with this y'all but that is what i'm wearing today this one right here soleil neige from tom ford that's it y'all that's what i have on today and then next as for my jewelry i'm just wearing these earrings from louis vuitton these are the louise earrings in the small size and these are the silver ones. I have them also in gold. I remember the silver ones were just like a limited edition for a little bit of time. So you can still get the gold ones in the small size or PM or however they call it. If you're interested in this size, they do have them in a large size as well, as you guys know. So um, yeah, I think the silver ones are gone if I'm not mistaken but you can still get the gold hopefully they'll come back with the silver then as for my shirt this is a old shirt you guys that I picked up maybe about five plus years ago from TJ Maxx it doesn't have a hood it's just you know you can pull it over your neck which I love and it has that like army style fatigue print to it yeah, I love it, y'all. I have washed this thing over and over again, and it's so soft. That's why I wear it all the time. So that's what I have on with a pair of joggers because after this video, I have to make a quick run. And so lastly, my bag of the day comes from YSL, and it is my toy puffer bag. I believe that's what it's called. This is in a really deep, pretty green with the silver hardware. This is another soft bag, you guys, that I absolutely love. So it has the chain detail here and the little matching leather strap there. So hopefully you can see See how soft and plushy this is I love this bag I wish it had a little back pocket on the back there's no back pocket but I wish it did have a little small back pocket on the back cuz then it would have just been perfect so that is what it looks like in the inside you guys for reference and I got my big old mini pochette in there as you can see but yeah, that is my bag of the day from YSL. So guys, that's it for housekeeping. Next, we're going to get into my video today, which is going to be my Longchamp collection. Y'all, if I can't recommend a bag to you, that's not going to break the bank. It is going to last you for a lifetime. This company stands by their products. Their pieces are just overall so durable. With these bags, I can just like really rough handle them, throw them around, toss them, and y'all they still look good <laughs> when i say i love this brand i love it y'all now some people will say this is not a luxury brand y'all luxury is whatever you make it this brand although it doesn't have like the price point of your hermes and your chanel and all of that louis vuitton it can hold better than some of those to me. 
So I have my Louis Vuitton agenda right here. I did make some notes um, just for some of the bags as to what they were called because I've had them so long and been buying them so long, you know. Some of them, <laughs> I don't quite know all the names offhand. So if I forget, I'll put it up on the screen for you. But yes. Again, I want to say that this is definitely a luxury brand to me. Luxury to me is just something that's just not a necessity. But it's something for me that makes your life easier. And it brings you comfort and pleasure. And so for me, that's my definition of luxury and Longchamp fits that bill for me, y'all. So Longchamp is a French brand and their founder is Jean Cassegrain. I'll put his name up on the screen. They've been around since 1948, you guys. I first started my Longchamp love affair back in 2015. When I get to the tote section, I will definitely point out my first bag from Longchamp. But yeah, that's when I started my love affair with Longchamp. And I've been collecting ever since, you guys. So first, I'm going to start with some of my smaller pieces. Now, the first one is a SLG that I have and it's in one of their card cases and it has the Longchamp signature all over it in this gorgeous white and black and so you have a pocket here and you have a pocket there you have your inside pocket there which I'm sure I just have the Longchamp little tag in you flip it over on the other side and you have the same thing so you have two slots on each side here and then you have your slot in the middle and this is just called their Longchamp La Pliage card case so that's the first piece and that's the only card case I have with them now over the years I've had several of this next Piece, which looks like this and it's their La Pliage original um, coin purse so when they say original anything that's going to say original for reference is going to have their original signature brown leather pieces on it so you see it here and also on the pull tab. So this is a gorgeous one I have in pink. Um, right now it's just stuffed with paper. But that is what the inside looks like. And you can just put lipsticks, coins, lip glosses, AirPods, whatever you want to put in this thing, y'all. I have used these things for so many years. Candy, mints, <laughs> anything, y'all. You can just put in here. And these little things pack a punch, y'all. So, that is the first one here. I still have and own three of these in my collection. So, I have this light pink. I have this darker pink here that matches one of my bags you'll see in a minute. I used to have the light pink bag like this, but I gave it to my daughter. And then lastly, one of my most used ones here, I have it in the leather version. And it has this gunmetal hardware on this one. And when it comes to Longchamp leather, their leather interior has their signature print in it. So as of now, I have three of these coin pouches in my collection. And dare I say, they came out with a new green and I want everything. I want the bag, I want the coin purse, I want the pouch. And then next, if you're oldie but goodie, you'll remember the Longchamp La Pliage cosmetic pouch that I had and this is in the old style. This style has since been discontinued so it has a little handle. This is the only one 
of the older styles that I have left in my collection. I had two other ones and I'll pop pictures of them if I can find them um, in a gray and a red but I've since gotten rid of those and I kept this one so I love this one because it does have that handle on it so I can easily attach it to anything but again you just have like an open space there to put everything in and when I had purchased this one, I remember buying this. I bought this and the handbag. But again, the handbag I gave to my daughter. And then another item that's also been discontinued is this one that they call um, a cosmetic pouch as well. I've never used it as a cosmetic pouch, but you can. You guys, this is fully leather here. And it has that long chomp written right there. This one has the silver hardware on it. And I use this, you guys, as a pen and pencil case. So as you can see, I have all my pens and pencils in there. Again, you can put cosmetics in there, but it's so slim fitting. I just always have this in my office and I use it as a pen and pencil holder. So that's that one right there. Love that. Next in here, I have one item that is a strap from Longchamp. And it looks like this. And it has that gunmetal hardware on it. I bought it to match two of my bags. So I just bought this one to just like change up the straps sometimes and wear it differently. So I have that. So this next item is tiny but mighty. I take this all the time with me on vacation. I have some additions to it and I'll, I'll tell you that in just a second but here is what they have currently in their collection that la pliage pouch so i have it in the original one which has the original leather here and then your nylon in the black so it has that one handle on this one as you can see i have a strap attachment this is not longchamp this is something that i got off of a website but it's a strap that fits perfectly on this and it just makes me able to use this cross body so when i say i like to take this on vacation i take it because the strap here that i added to it lets me carry it as a cross body bag y'all and so for that reason i will take this on vacation with me all the time because it is the perfect bag to just drop something in it packs a punch you guys it can carry a lot I can do a video showing you that if you're interested in that. Just hit the like button. I can certainly do that. But yeah, that's why I want to get another one in that new green color, y'all. <laughs> Pray for me, but I think that's what it's going to be, y'all. I've seen it and I'm like, ah, how many do you need, girl? But that's how I do, y'all. That's how I do. So anyway yeah i love this thing y'all so and the next one i have here is in this beautiful green and it is the longchamp filet and as you can see right here let me just take the scarf out i have a scarf in mine but the bag looks like this so as you can see it has those holes in it so that's why I line mine with a scarf because you have to be careful if you have anything little. So like a lipstick that can go through these holes, you don't want to lose it, you guys. So <laughs> I line mine with a scarf to protect it that way if you're going to buy this style bag. But it is so like cute and fashionable. 
that's what it's for and it has a strap it's not adjustable and it has that traditional little long chomp snap here and it just opens it wide like that again I just stuffed the scarf in mine but that's the only one I have and this one is in that extra small size they come in various sizes just to let you know but you can check them out on their website Nordstrom Neiman Marcus Bloomingdale's they all have them so yeah that's the only one I have like that I'm trying to get my ones that I have only one and done before I get to the ones that I have like repeated ones of it's just the color that's really changing so my next one came from a limited edition collection I remember my Longchamp lovely sales associate in New York. I remember meeting her and we've been in touch ever since on one of my trips that I had took to um, New York. Um, and so she called me when this one came in and she had one in this color and she asked me if I wanted it. And y'all know if it had green in it, I was going to want it. And not only that, it had green and pink. Um, but it's a color block one and, and this came in their collection called the replay This was that replay collection that everybody was after Especially for the belt bag. So I here it is. I got it in this green with the blue and the pink on the back You can see it right there it says long chomp It has the snap as well gold hardware on this one it has a pink pocket in the inside and everything else is open and it is adjustable so you have your little clip here that you can adjust it so yeah that is the only item that I actually have from that replay collection and then next y'all I have from their raffia collection this extra small la pliage raffia tote with the longchamp emblem on the front inside it comes with a strap there's no interior pockets on this one it's just open and it comes with that non-adjustable strap here and again, I have it in the lovely green. And it's just so cute. This is the pretty summertime bag. It comes with one snap here where you can snap it. And so, yeah, I have that. And then next, y'all, I have my Longchamp backpack in the size small. This is from their Neo collection, which has since been discontinued. I've had a few Longchamp backpacks in my collection. Um, there's two of them that I've gotten rid of. I had the medium size one, and then I also had the original one as well. And... I just wasn't in love with the aesthetics of that one. So when I found this one, I let that one go. But this one is my perfect size because it is that small size. And although it is a small size, it carries everything I need, especially when I'm traveling or like I go to an amusement park or I go to my grandkids birthday parties. I pack everything I need in here and put it on my back y'all. I love this thing. So yeah the medium one that I used to have if you can recall had a little clip right here. That maybe you can like clip a luggage tag. I didn't need it to be that big. Right now it is stuffed. You have a large zip pocket right here which I put a ton of stuff in. You can put your passport in there, lip glosses, hand sanitizers, whatever you need. It's a hefty size pocket in the front so you can really utilize that. Then 
And the inside, if you can see, you have a big, deep zip closure here. And then you have your straps on the back, y'all. This is my perfect backpack. She ain't going nowhere. I love it. I use it all the time. So, yeah. And I love that hint, hint, Louis Vuitton. They actually have this piece that comes out when you're zipping your bag so nothing gets caught or anything like that like um the palm springs mini like the old style of the palm springs mini um so yeah love that about this so next we're going to get into all of the la pliage totes i have so the only expandable tote that i have is this one right here and this one travels with me all of the time as you can see it's folded but it is expandable if you're a travel girl like me or you just need some expansion get yourself one of these Nordstrom has them all the time on sale during their anniversary um, but even after their anniversary they'll have them on the Nordstrom rack on sale as well so I say pick you up one. I picked up one of these during one of their anniversary sales. So I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like. So this one is in the large size. This sits right up under the airplane seat. And as I stated, I don't baby any of these at all because they can take a beating, y'all. They are nice nylon fabric that you could just toss around. Y'all, when I say you're getting a bang for your buck for these. That's all I can really tell you. You know, you need one in your life. At least one. You don't have to go crazy like me, but at least one, y'all. So this one I have to match this one. So when I'm traveling, I always have like these two pieces right here. Cause I can like clip this on, hang it on the outside, put some important things in there. Then when I get to my destination, I can pop that strap on it and wear it cross body. It works for me, you guys. So that is my large expandable foldable tote here. <laughs> so next y'all, let me get into one of my La Pliages that I wear all the time and I have multiples in them. <laughs> These are just the two sizes that I gravitate the most one being one of them is just an everyday casual bag and then the other one being of a travel bag so y'all the first one here will go with my everyday ones is this one right here and as you can see i wear it so much i just leave stuff in it y'all so this one here is the La Pliage Extra Small. And I remember way back in the day, I purchased this black one from Bloomingdale's. And I also purchased this burgundy one here, which they called grape, but it's a burgundy. So when you saw that strap, I can interchange that strap right here with either of these. So that was the reason why I purchased that strap when it was on sale. But anyway, these were my first two that I purchased from Bloomingdale's. Way back when, when they first came out, these were my two. Then y'all, they went away and was discontinued for a while. Then Nordstrom's had an anniversary sale recently that they bought some of the colors back so i bought two more because i was like what if they go away again and i don't see them anymore <laughs> so i'll show you those as well which i haven't even worn yet you guys because i grabbed for these two the most it's ridiculous i know it still has the tag on it so this is the blue one that i recently bought from the nordstrom anniversary sale and then they had it in taupe right here. As you can see, I haven't even used either two of these yet, but I'll get around to it. 
they still have everything in it from that anniversary sale including the strap that's still like wrapped in there so yeah those were the two i just bought most recently from that sale now do they still have them today i don't know probably not but if i can find them i will link them down below for you but yeah so i have those two all in all i have five of these y'all so the last one that i have i can admit i don't really wear it that much and i probably would get rid of it i don't know why i don't grab for this color maybe i'm afraid i'm gonna get something on it because this one is in their leather whereas though these ones here are nylon they're easy wipeable if i get a pin mark on that it's probably going to be it for it because it's that leather version inside it looks like that i still have everything in it i think i might have put something in here one time and i probably didn't even make it out the house with it i don't know but it's like brand spanking new you have your zip pocket there you have another pocket here that you can put stuff in and then you have your opening there it comes with a strap it's not adjustable so this is in that beautiful light pink color with the like almost black but gunmetal hardware here i have the dust bag with it and everything you know i love the style of the bag i think i'm just scared because it's leather and the light color of the leather frightens me so yeah i have five of these you guys <laughs> so these are all again an extra small then next another one that i got recently that i haven't worn yet is this one from their club line and how you can tell their club line is um it's not like the original. The color would be the same as this. The club line will also have uh, the emblem in another color. So the button and the emblem and then around the little tab. And then you'll also see it trimmed around the handle comes in a different color. So I have two items from the club line. So this one is in that burgundy color with the blue as you can see here with the silver hardware and i got this for a really good deal um on sale and i think i can't even remember but it was even less than 50 dollars guys so right now i just have it stuffed it has the longchamp little card in here and you guys for these bags again for what you're getting they are well worth the money and more. So like um, the large version, I believe retails for like $155. Um, you know, you have your smalls, your mediums, your extra smalls, depending on the bag, they're different cost. But at any given time, you can go on Nordstrom Rack website. You can walk into, and I've done this, a Bloomingdale's outlet a Saks Fifth Avenue outlet and see these bags hanging for like 70 bucks 69.99 you can find them on Marshall's TJ Maxx websites y'all they are so good and I can't highly recommend them enough so this one here is the small size and I love when they have the black interior versus the white interior or either the same color interior when they have the white I try to put an organizer in it just so I don't get all that white messed up but it's wipeable um, just to let you know that too so this one just has that pocket there and your opening there again this one is in the small size this is my only top handle that does not have a crossbody. Although the extra smalls are top handle bags, they have crossbody straps. But this one is just a straight top handle. I particularly love to get long handles because I love just throwing it on my shoulder. So the next club one I have comes in a black and a off-white here. 
so I would call that a crane. This is in the medium size because this one is a small. So small, medium, and then I'll show you large. Um, but yeah, this has the little emblem here. Everything is outlined in the beige. That's how you know it's club. This one just has the shoulder straps. And in the inside, you have your large pocket here. That This one goes all the way down. Again, this one is stuffed. And you have your inside that looks like that. Those were my two club ones that I have. And then next I have only one from their city collection, which their city collection is just their coated canvas collection. So it's not made of nylon, it's made of coated canvas. And here it is right here. I have it in this gorgeous beige color that I absolutely love and hopefully you can see it is canvas. Um, it's a heavier canvas to me than um, Louis Vuitton canvas, um, but it's nice you guys. I remember this came in like a black and like a burnt orange and then this color here. This has silver hardware on it. Inside you have a pocket on each side so you have your larger one on that side and then you have a smaller one over here if you can see that and then you have your opening so absolutely love this one again so durable okay so next remember I told you my love affair from Longchamp came from a bag that I purchased back in 2015 and when I say this bag has been everything and more. This was my everyday work tote. I carried everything in this tote to work, y'all. So here it is, you guys. This was my everyday work bag. Even looking at it right now, I'm getting a little overwhelmed because, you know, I'm retired, so I no longer work. And it's just reminding me of all of that. I also used to carry with it my agenda from Louis Vuitton. Again, another workhorse that I had every single day is this combination is what I had. Y'all, I miss it. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, this was my everyday work tote. I'm going to have to put the name of this one on the screen. I have the information somewhere from my purchase. And I'll put it on the screen for you guys when I'm editing this. Because although it looks like the La Pliage one, um, it is, but it's a different name. And I remember that back in 2015 because this particular one was a style that's not foldable. So it's not like the traditional La Pliage that folds this and has the button. This one does not have the button. The fabric on it is different as well. It's not like the original La Pliage. And it does have a different name. I just can't recall what it is. It has that beautiful silver hardware on it. And it's a black hole in the inside with a pocket. And this one will always be in my collection because, as you saw, it has so many memories from me working every day, being a career woman, and it was my very first Longchamp piece in 2015. So, for that, y'all... She stands. And so next I have uh, some original ones in different colors. So they probably were limited edition colors at that time. And it probably was my color, which this one you see right here. I remember purchasing this one. I don't remember what year. I can't recall, but it was a limited edition color that came out. Was it Saks? 
I think it was Saks color that it was limited edition. And it came out in this beautiful Christmas green and I couldn't resist y'all in the original. And so, yeah, y'all, that's what that one looks like. This is in the large size. That's my green one that I love to rock. This next one I think I picked up at Bloomingdale's when I saw this color come out. And it's one of my favorites to carry. And earlier in the video I showed you the little coin purse that I had to match that. So again, the original foldable. In the inside of this one, it is white in the inside and has that little pink pocket. I always keep this one with the organizer. So I'll throw one of my Samorga organizers or whatever organizer I have at the time and throw it in there when I'm traveling just to keep it all nice and clean. Um, the green one... I think it actually has green in the inside because I don't think I put an organizer in this one. It's actually black in the inside, so it has that dark interior. So those are my pink and green ones that I have in my collection. You know I had to have one of each. And look, on this one I keep my little butterfly sanitizer holder from Bath and Body Works. And look at that one. Kindness is cool. It is, y'all. And so, yeah, I had that one on my little pink one dangling. This one goes with me on travel a lot, y'all. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm almost done. So next we have the last part of these Longchamp bags that I have. They are special collection pieces and limited edition pieces. They are all the totes because you know I love them. So next, this first one I actually picked up on sale at Nordstrom Rack. And it was part of a collection. I don't know if it was limited to Nordstrom's or not. But it just says Paris, Longchamp across it. And it's in this beautiful cobalt blue with the black and the white. The handles, everything is in the black. It has the silver tone hardware on it. Here is the back. It is foldable as well. This one, if you can see the outline of it, has a very large pocket in the back. And I love that. Open it up. It's stuffed right now. And what do you know? See, I'm glad I opened it up because I also have the matching pouch to that. And so here it is. It's like a little wristlet. Forgot about this thing. And it actually has something in it. I have a little Chanel little bag. And I have a little tiny Laneige lip balm. This does not come with it. It was purchased separately. So although it looks the same... They're two separate pieces and were bought separately at Nordstrom's. And the inside of this, again, I love it because it's black. So you have that blue pocket there and it is huge. And it's black in the inside. And then you have your hole here, your huge hole here. And it's black as well. And I love carrying them both together. And so my last three here are the three that's part of their special limited edition city ones that they do. And I'm sure if you're OG, you know the ones that I'm talking about. My first one here comes in this beautiful orange. And it's from the one that's the closest city to me. And I remember going there, getting this one. And it's New York City. I got this one inside of Macy's in Herald Square. And as you can see, it's limited edition. It has that beautiful Statue of Liberty on it right there. And it's in the original version. And it's still foldable like all the others. I think this one has that white interior. Yes. And it has an orange pocket on the other side. 
and everything else is the same y'all so this one is my beautiful orange one my next one comes in this beautiful red and it is my paris one y'all it has that beautiful eiffel tower on it there's the inscription there beautiful red still foldable like all the others i travel with this one a lot too i posted pictures before let's see what's the interior on this one because everything else is the same this one is like this like taupey brown color in the inside and then the pocket there as you see is red i have one more city from london and it has the big bin on it and if you are a og of mine you remember i had this one back in a brown color and the front of the big bin was white that was my very first one i had and when I say Longchamp stands by their products, you guys, they stand by their products. Because that Big Ben one that I had in the brown with the white, for some reason on that one, I've never experienced it with any of the other ones. I treat them all the same. I toss them all the same. But it was all white. The Big Ben was all white. And I saw the peeling of that one coming off a little bit. So, it wasn't anything too terrible. It just chipped in some spots. I actually called Longchamp to see if that's something that they could repair. I could send it to their repair place. Because at that time, I had had it for so long. And I know that I was abusing that thing, tossing it around. I just had a question if they could repair it. They asked me to send pictures, snap a picture of it, send it to them in an email. I did as such. And y'all, before I know it, a customer service representative was calling me back. And she was like, if she, if I wanted to, she can send me a label. And um, they would have their in-house specialist take a look at it and see what they can do about it. So I was fine with that. She sent me the label. I shipped it out. And so maybe about five to seven days later, she called me back and she said that unfortunately after her repair people looked at it, it wasn't something that they could repair. They deemed the item as being... um not repairable so at that point they could either send the bag back to me or they can send me a gift card for the full value of the bag y'all i was outdone because i wasn't looking for them to replace the bag i would have just happily took the bag back because i beat that thing up but you know i actually took their credit and the reason they couldn't replace it for me is because that was a limited edition. That actual Big Ben was sold out and they weren't making any more of that Big Ben style. So it was gone. So that's why they couldn't give me the same bag again because otherwise they would love to give me the same bag. So, again, I wasn't even expecting that, y'all. So, I took the gift card for the full refund of the bag because I knew, Longchamp, I'm going to purchase something again. So, it was a Longchamp gift card and I could use it anywhere. So, I took the gift card for the full value of the bag. Then, years went by, y'all, and they came out with this. Many, many years went by and I saw this version of the Longchamp pop up, y'all, with the Big Ben on the front. And I called my sales associate in Harrods in London and they said, oh yeah, we have one. She sent me pictures already still in the packaging, everything, and I got this as a replacement. So the only difference is this one, they came out with a red, white, and blue version of this. And if I'm not mistaken, they had this in the Paris version too. 
but at that time I was only missing my Big Ben one. So I got this one. The only difference is it doesn't have the writing here, but it still has that Big Ben there. It has gold hardware on it. The inside of this one is black. And then the pocket is that beautiful navy blue. I was so, so happy to have this one back. And so that was my last one. But don't leave me yet, y'all. I'm not done. I have to grab the one that I still am holding for you. So lastly is the one for you guys. I am still holding it here. If you can recall, I did a video and I'll link it um, if I can find it. I did a 4,000 subscriber video for a belt bag, which has already been done and sent to my lovely subscriber, Patricia. Hi girl, if you're watching. And I also mentioned in that video, when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I will give away this Longchamp tote bag, which is one of my favorites, as you can see from this collection. Y'all, I want to give you my favorite things. So, yeah, I have it right here, which is the last thing. It's not part of my collection, but it is still here, y'all. All nicely wrapped in the original wrapping and with this one y'all it reminds me of my very first one that I have which is a tote bag that is not foldable so you won't see the button there um and there is the front of it right there and it is in the large size and it has silver hardware on it. This beautiful Longchamp piece will go to one of you. I'm still holding it for you, you guys. It's been here. It's not going anywhere. And yeah, this is what I want to give to you. Look at that. Still everything inside, the nice large pockets, everything. So y'all, let's make it happen this year. Let's get me to 5,000 subscribers at least by the end of the year, if not before. Take a moment right now, if you're looking down in the description, if you don't see that subscribe button gone and not highlighted, just hit it. Hit it right now, y'all, so I can give one of you this beautiful Longchamp tote. So that's it, you guys. That's the end of my collection. I hope I got everything, y'all. Collection videos are hard for me to do because I've always forgotten something. And perhaps when this video is over, I'll look in a drawer and I say, I forgot to show them that one. <laughs> it happens, y'all. I'm not perfect. None of us are. But hopefully, I captured everything I still have in my collection. And if you like this sort of video, you guys, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up, you guys, if you want to see more of these. I can do some collection videos of things that I love. Um, I probably should be doing like a SLG collection up updated one because you know I get things in and out if I get something and it doesn't work for me or I'm just like over it you know it doesn't stay you know I'll get rid of it but you'll tell the things that I I really really love like you know mini pochettes and things like that because I have multiples of them these long chomp bags I travel all the time y'all I don't carry the same one every time I could but you know I like to overindulge sometimes. It's a luxury to me, you guys. So anyway, 
I'm going to get off rambling because I can keep doing that forever and run and do my errand and get back here and put all these bags back up. That's another thing with collection videos, putting the stuff all back away, not just getting it all down, but putting it away. It's a lot y'all but i love y'all so that's why i do it so hope you enjoyed today hope you'll come back for another one you guys i love you to pieces as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys